Welcome back to Sports Connection. We are honored to put a bow on BG East Little League state champs this season, 2024, and we've got them in the studio. It's great to have them. Jeff, good night. Skipper, uh, Lauren and I here with you. Man, just real quick, what's this been like? Oh, it's been an incredible uh, summer. Uh, just being around these young men and uh, watching them have this experience uh, is something I know that they've dreamed about. and we've talked about for a long time and so just just watching them and being around these young men this summer and able to for them to get up there uh, I know we came a little short of our, our dream but it still was a great experience and a great run for us. Jeff real quick you, you can't do this by yourself obviously you got parents you got the community behind you but you also got a couple of assistant coaches I, two with you tonight uh, introduce yes. uh, White and uh, Boyd. I have here. two uh, great assistant coaches but we also had a, a big team and everything but David White and Johnson Boyd were uh, assistants with me along the, on this journey. Guys, tell us what it's been like. Yeah, David White, I'm one of the assistants. You know, for me, just the journey was, you know, was super exciting. There was a lot of uh, emotion. Obviously, obviously, some very, very close games. Uh, the kids were very resilient and fought. Um, but the support of this town, the support, you know, from this community, and whether it's financial, whether it's watch parties, texts, phone calls, it was just unbelievable and great journey. Just excited that I could be a part of it. So. Yeah, I'd say the same. The greatest part, I think, is a life lesson these kids learned about what growing up in and being in a community like Bowling Green and Warren County is. Just a tremendous uh, amount of support, as David mentioned, from, from everyone here in town. Uh, could hear it and feel it uh, at games we were at, the number of people that drove to Indianapolis, as well as all the messages, Facebook comments, and those things that you get from, from really all over the world was, uh, was amazing. I think something those boys will learn to cherish uh, forever. Coach, I'm going to take things right back to you for a second before we uh, introduce all these guys. But for you, just this whole process and with 11, 12 year olds, I mean, it's a huge stage for this age. I mean, and how important is that for them moving forward to say I was 11, 12 years old and I was on a stage like this? Well, you know, I think uh, it, it, I think it's probably a little overwhelming for them right now, but they're going to think back one day and go, we were one of the top. 20, 25 teams left in Little League, right? Mm -hmm. our, our 30. And, you know, we were one of the few playing. We played in two semifinal games at the Great Lakes region. And so, you know, for them to accomplish that, it's something special. We're one of only the six uh, state champions ever in, in Bowling Green East Little League history with over 50 years. So, you know, uh, to be one of six is uh, something pretty special. And so hopefully they uh, realize one day they'll sit back and they'll realize and say, wow, it was pretty incredible what we got to do and what we accomplished because uh, they're a very talented group of young men and very special young men. Well, let's meet these state champs. We're going to start right here. Let's go down the front row and then hand it off and uh, bring it back there with captain in the back. So I'm Easton Crawford, number 34, and I played third base. My favorite game was whenever we beat Lexington Eastern in the semifinals at state. Nice. I'm Caleb Arbin, and I play right field, and my favorite game is probably south. I'm Dylan White. I play center field, and my f game was probably the championship game of the state. I'm Jake Young. I play second base, and my favorite game was the Lexington Eastern game. My name's Captain Carr, and I play catcher, and my favorite game was the Lexington Eastern game. My name's Henry Phillips. I play shortstop. My favorite game was the championship of state. I'm Brady Boyd. I play first base and pitcher. My, uh, my favorite game was the state semifinal against Lexington Eastern. Curveballer right there. <laughs> my name's Trace Wilkins. I play third base. My favorite game was the South game. My name's Kip Walden. I play pitcher. My favorite game is the first game of regionals. My name's Pipes Gaines, and I play left field. My favorite game was when we played uh, Lexington Eastern and state. Jeff, tell us a few things about uh, this group, man, that just made them special. What, what were some just highlights of the of the road trips? Well, you know, some of the things that make these kids special was, one, we had a lot of pitching. So our pitching was really good. And two, our defense was, was really, really good as well. And just their baseball knowledge and IQ is really, really high. And so, you know, it's pretty easy to kind of – Sit back and let these guys go and do what they need to do. So, but you know, we did. We had a, a, a number of, of highlights along the way. Again, a lot of them entered the Lexington Eastern game. We were down three to one in the top of the six and came back and won four to three. Uh, 
in that in that top inning, and then you know the state game against North Oldham, uh, Henry threw a no hitter, uh, but also think that those regional games were pretty special too. You know, we got two wins up there, and uh, and every game that we played was a close game. There was nothing, you know. It's just you get there, you're playing good teams. Uh, Lauren, you might want to just reach over there and feel uh, Phillips's arm. He <laughs> is it true now, guys? Is it true he throws at seventy plus? That's what they're saying now. That's what the grapevine says. <laughs> What do you think, Henry? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Never hit the gun. Uh, I want I want to give this to Kip real quick. Kip, take take me through that that one of that that semifinal game. You 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 pitched so well and and uh, got down there and just had just a. I mean, you know, it, it's tough. Baseball's tough. But take me through that game, man. Okay, so um, so once we got there and I like started on the mound, everything felt like a lot bigger than what I'm used to. So it took me like a couple pitches and maybe like one game. But like after that, I just did what I'm supposed to do and just. Well, you did it right. That's for that going sure. Jeff, you get anybody, anybody out here you want to you pull a story out? We got about, about, about 70 oh, seconds. Yeah. Anybody want to tell your favorite story? Anybody got story? a good one? About the season? Everybody going to be quiet now? That's all right. Yeah. Baseball's serious, <laughs> no, Lauren. Yeah. Lauren, no. you got a good question for one of them? Um, just, I mean, it can be for any of y'all, but I mean, Season has now come to a close, but um, I know baseball means a lot to each and every one of you. So how excited are you to get back there on the field and be able to play and get more experience and just get better at the game? Who wants it? Oh, I want to. There we go. Phillips wants it. Um, it's really fun playing with friends. Mm -hmm. And then even though our season came to an end, uh, getting back and playing again will be really fun. It will be fun. So exciting to have you all in here, and I'm so excited that you all could join us. And we got the well, we got the whole crew in here today. It's so exciting to see you all. It is a little uh, overwhelming for me standing up. We're usually sitting down for these interviews, and I have 12 year olds that are taller. Than I, am. <laughs> I got them that are taller than me. <laughs> but we really appreciate you all coming by. Congratulations on an amazing season, and we can't wait to see what you all do in the future. Thank you. We appreciate it very much. Thank you so much. BGEs. Whenever we come back, Brian and I will wrap us up on this week's episode of Sports Connection.